everyone. So, uh, 100 subscribers. Um, the official 100 subscriber video will be coming up later in the week. And I'm still considering whether to uh, do anything kind of special or just get down to the point and just give out a couple of shout outs. Um, but pre 100 subscriber video, uh, please uh, thank you very much um, if you've subscribed or just watched any of my videos. Um, I, I'm i really interested to, especially especially if you've um, responded in comment form or in video form. I mean, I really love interacting with people and I, I really love, uh, yeah, getting, getting my ideas out there and criticized, uh, which is what this video is kind of going to be about. Uh, because the laughing out asked, I guess a week or two ago, for people to criticize him more because he wasn't getting enough uh, flack for his videos, I guess. So the video I'm um, responding to is a video where the laughing out very kindly responded to a vegetarian and was very nice about it, uh, but explained his reasons for why he still ate some meat and why he thought it wasn't such a bad thing. And I guess this two aspects to this. There's the environmental impact aspect and the morality uh, or ethics aspect. And I plan on getting back to the general ethics of meat eating in a later video. Uh, for the record, I'm a vegetarian. Um, I hope one day to graduate to vegan, <laughs> but that's, um, that, that's, that's quite difficult, I, I find. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about um, the environmental impact, and in particular, um, the laughing out uh, solution to the problem of the large environmental impact of meat. Um, and the laughing out said that he ate um, poultry and sometimes beef. He didn't eat pork for ethical reasons, but he did sometimes eat beef. Um, and so, to start out with, uh, here's just a table of different products and how much CO2 is produced uh, uh, from, you know, when they're grown to when they get to your dinner plate. Uh, and it's, these numbers are quite obvious, um, so um, any form of meat is basically worse than pretty much any form of, of uh, vegetarian option. And the thing to also uh, understand when one looks at this table is that they, they they have uh, vegetarian options such as uh, food that has been frozen and shipped around the world frozen. And they're comparing all of the meat is actually local grown meat in the study. So uh, even local grown meat is se severely uh, damaging to the environment. And you can see poultry is actually not too bad. And in fact, fish, um, I think it's fish, is pretty much on par with some of the more harmful uh, vegetarian options like tropical fruit. But beef is the worst of the worst. Um, beef is really a major climate uh, change. I'm gonna say it. No, it's not climate change. It's global warming. A major global warming culprit. Um, and so the laughing out said that to combat the uh, effects uh, of um, his consumption of beef on the environment, he made sure to eat local grass-fed beef. Uh, so first of all, the, the first table I showed was comparing local beef already, so that was all factored into that table. Now the second question is grass-fed versus grain-fed. So the assumption is often that grass-fed beef is less environmentally damaging because, um, because it uh, because you don't have to grow extra food for it, you don't have to set extra land aside for that beef to be fed, uh, it can just feed off the grass. So there's a couple of problems with this. The first one is that if you're using land that could be used to grow grain that could feed people or beef, then that argument doesn't make any sense because it would be a lot more efficient to use that land for growing grain which means that which means that you can only really use marginal land for grass-fed beef land that is not really farmable at all um 
the second problem is that grass-fed beef takes longer to mature uh, because grass is not as high energy. It takes longer to uh, rear the beef from, um, from youth to when it can be slaughtered. It needs to stay alive longer. And during that time, it turns out that since grass is a far less efficient uh, energy source than, um, than grain and is far harder to digest, uh, cows during that period of time fart a lot more methane. Uh, methane, methane, methane probably. Um, and it turns out that the, the, the farting that cows do is one huge contributor actually to their uh, environmental impact. So when you combine the fact that you have to rear the cows for longer and the fact that they actually uh, output more methane, then that actually makes for grass-fed cows being environmentally more damaging than grain-fed cows. And there have been a couple of studies. One that I came across was this one, uh, which I've got the link to in the below box. But just the abstract, you can see that uh, in terms of greenhouse gases, this study found that grass-fed beef was by about 40% and other studies suggest as much as 70% worse in terms of uh, greenhouse gases than grain-fed beef, which can be manufactured much more efficiently. Uh, so the idea that you can limit your environmental impact by eating grass-fed beef is... Uh, is, is, is false uh, in all likelihood empirically. Um, so if you take into account all of the pollution that beef creates, it is actually more damaging. And even if it were only half as damaging, even if it weren't more but less damaging, the impact would still be very, very significant. Um, and it would still be worse than than pork uh, in terms of greenhouse gases. So eating any form of red meat in terms of environmental impact is really not a very good choice. And there's another big problem. And that problem, uh, there was a report by, uh, I think it was a UN agency or, or one of those development charities um, quite recently. And they looked at world food prices and they estimate that they will double, I think, in the next 20 30 years, so I think by 2040 or 2050, prices for basic food staples will have doubled. And whilst they don't discuss this in the study, uh, as far as I could see at least, um, at least not in the summary that I read, one of the obvious reasons for why food prices will increase is people eating more meat and meat being very inefficient. Um, if you can grow a food supply for meat which you can use all of the non-marginal land for then to put that into a cow and to eat the cow is very inefficient um, so in fact uh, we are going to be driving up the prices because not only um, are there going to be more people so we're going to need more food there's also going to be an increasing middle class in China and India and they're going to emulate our behavior. They're going to start eating more and more meat. Uh, so that is going to mean there's going to be a bigger need for more and more feed. And that feed will, dry, uh, will obviously um, drive up the prices for those basic staple foods. So by eating meat, in a sense, we're also taking food from the mouths of the most needy in terms of actually... Uh, worsening the global food situation. So in summary, I think um, from just an environmental uh, position and from a kind of humanist perspective, the consumption of any red meat is really unjustifiable. Um, the consumption of fish and to some extent of poultry, poultry is relatively uh, harmless, compared to either pork or especially beef. Um, that, that would be justified from an environmental perspective. Uh, but the consumption of pork and especially beef um, 
basically we need to stop eating them we need to stop eating them as quickly as possible as much as people might enjoy their steak or whatever else uh, there is no sustainable method short of genetically engineering cows to fart less and be more efficient at pr processing uh, food that would get past this problem and there are a range of other environment uh, environmental impacts from the waste that gets dumped into rivers to the deforestation that is taking place in various places to uh, create grass uh, land or just land where you can just raise cattle uh, that have further impacts um, yeah anyways I hope you enjoyed uh, my attempt at a rebuttal um, the laughing out and I will see you guys all later cheerio